Let's talk about word problems using the distributive property. The distributive property states that x times the quantity y plus z is equal to x times y plus x times z. Let's look at this example using numbers. I have the problem 2 times the quantity 3 plus 4. Well, of course, I don't need the distributive property here. In order of operations, you would do 3 plus 4, which is 7. And we know that 2 times 7 is equal to 14. We could also do this example using the distributive property. 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. And let's continue working it out. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. And 6 plus 8 is also 14. Let's do some word problems. Three friends are buying some DVDs. Mary buys four times as many DVDs as Josh. Loretta buys twice as many DVDs as Josh. Write an expression for the total number of DVDs they buy and simplify it. So I know a little bit about Mary. I know a little bit about Loretta. I don't know anything at all about Josh. How many DVDs does Josh buy? I will let X equal the number of DVDs that Josh buys. I do know that Mary buys four times as many as Josh. So four times X will be the number of DVDs that Mary buys. I also know that Loretta buys twice as many DVDs as Josh. So two times whatever Josh buys, that will be 2X. So let's write an expression for the total number of DVDs they all buy. X is the number of DVDs that Josh buys, or we could say one times X, plus Mary buys four X DVDs, and the number of DVDs that Loretta buys is 2x. That is an expression for the total number of DVDs they all bought. Now what we learned about the distributive property is that this is the same as 1 plus 4 plus 2, all of that, times x. And we could simplify this parentheses, 1 plus 4 plus 2 is 7. So we now have 7x. Let's try this problem. Eight friends are going bowling together. If they each rent a pair of bowling shoes for $2, they each play two games for a total of $3, and they each buy a soda for $1.50. Write two different expressions for the total amount they all spent. Well, how much did one of them spend? Well, if they had $2 for bowling shoes, plus $3 for the games, and $1.50 for the soda, this is the amount of money that one person would have spent. Of course, we have eight friends bowling with us, so I will take that amount and I will multiply it by eight. This is an expression for the total amount of money they all spent. We could have done this another way. We could have multiplied first. The eight friends all rented bowling shoes for $2, plus the eight friends all paid $3 for the games, and the eight friends all bought a soda for $1.50. This is an example of the distributive property. Let's try one more problem. Tickets to a ball game cost T dollars each. A hot dog cost H dollars, and a soda cost S dollars. Write two different expressions for the total cost for P people if each person buys one ticket, one hot dog, and one soda. Now remember, I just want to write an expression. How many people are going to this game? We don't know. P people. So we have T is equal to the cost of a ticket. H is equal to the cost of a hot dog, and S is equal to the cost of soda. We could multiply first. Well, the cost of a ticket is T, but I need to multiply that by the number of people that are going to buy the ticket. So that would be T times P. 
Well, and if they're all hungry at the ball game and buy a hot dog, I have to add the money they are going to spend on a hot dog. So the cost of a hot dog times how many people are buying that hot dog. And the hot dog will make them thirsty. They are going to want a soda. So I have to add the soda. So if the soda cost S, multiply that by how many people will buy that soda. And add all of these amounts together and that will give you an expression of the amount of money they spent. We could demonstrate this a second way. I could add up how much each person is going to spend. They're going to buy a ticket plus a hot dog plus a soda. That is how much money each person would spend. But I have several people that are going to spend that much. So I would multiply all of that times P. Once again, we do have an example of the distributive property.